guys, welcome back to Trending on Enyola Badmos TV. Uh, actually, you know, we are going to meet their service, but before that, you know, in business, people come, people go. Nigeria as, in, as a country, as a nation, still remain the same. So, shop right living in Nigeria, we are going to meet them to some extent, but we have alternative. We still have other, you know, um, other, you know, companies who does their services, who can see that that same service for us as a nation. To me, shop right should not leave Nigeria because if shop right should leave Nigeria, it's going to affect most of our shopping and the only shopping mall that is in Nigeria that is Almost to the status of ShopRite is Blenko. And Blenko too is not operating that large. Blenko is only operating in Nigeria. But ShopRite, if you check it, ShopRite is almost all over the world. It's occupying most states in Nigeria. ShopRite is in Delta State, Lagos State, even in Oyo. It's many places, so it should not leave. Nigeria miss ShopRite service, if then they. Like, unlike me, when I was in Apapa, uh, GRA or banter side, the chop rights there is the only source of like big supermarket that we have. So that they are bread, I don't miss it. And other people like that who miss one or two things. I, I don't think we won't miss anything actually. I don't think we miss anything. Please, they could, if they come up for Nigeria, I say we're going to miss them a lot. SS, understand? Because then they try. Um, let me say, should I go? Should I come? To me, they are free to go. When they are with us, they are making their money. Now we advise all their staff. They should log in, they should, they should just, there's, there's company we call recharge and get paid. This company is, is, is Nigeria company, this uh, recharge and get paid, is something that they can make millions from it. They should try, they should try and change. It's a matter of change. This time now, it's everything changed. They should try and change their Disney, they are where they are making money before they have to change it. They can go to recharge their gap pay where they can make more than 10,000 Iran in a day. It's something that we are using every day. So working with a uh, short price, that is not the only way to make money. That's my advice to the people that are working with them. They can even be their own, they can have their own personal business. Do you understand? So they can come up. They should not, they should forget about it, they should go, they should go back to their company. We can rule our, our, our country too. We can make it here. Even through telecom, we can make it. That is my advice to them. Of course, we know that um, ShopRite is one of the employers of labor. And if they should, for example, leave Nigeria, definitely we'll miss their service. Not just missing their service, we also know that, that there is a lot of unemployment in Nigeria. It's also going to further deepen the unemployment rate in the country based on the service and also based on employment of labor on their part. So certainly we'll miss their service. Well, for me, I don't think so. We won't be needing their services because we Nigerians, we have a lot of ideas. We have a lot of skills and potentials in us. So if ShopRite should leave, we'll go back home, we'll think of... Um, things to do on ourselves. Like me now, for example, I've been working um, for quite a long time in ShopRite, but then I decided to sit down and think on my own. I have things to do myself. This is my brand. I started a cleaning business and here it's growing. So now without ShopRite, I'm moving forward. So I think without ShopRite, a lot of people are going to think on themselves and know what to do personally and start developing on that, thank you. Yeah, we really miss their service. Nigeria, we miss their service a lot. Um, because, you know, there's a lot of benefits in ShopRite. Um, you just go there and pick some things. It's very easy. I mean, especially in this corona season, you know, you don't want to, if you don't want to associate with people in the market, you just go there on your own and pick your things, and it's very easy. And sometimes, you know, things in ShopRite, we really prefer things in ShopRite because it comes fresh and all. 
So I think we'll miss them a lot. Definitely now, Nigeria will need their service. Because, why? Because, um, number one, the population shoppers have been employed in Nigeria. You know, basically, there is no, for me, there is no job in Nigeria and mostly there are all those things, uh, all those jobs are the jobs that we provide for our youth ones, you understand? And right now, the economic is hard. And why, shop, why Nigeria will need ShopRite is, for me, is the people working at ShopRite. And uh, we, the residents around ShopRite, around the, the Nigeria now, we need ShopRite because the things we go there to buy, how the the services they give they give us, definitely we need we need shop right back. Sure. Now, when you're talking about um, civilization and modernization, they've contributed a lot in Nigeria. Let's talk about you know one of all those people that are into one or two businesses. It was as a result of exposure when they travel outside and they saw how things are being done. And they said, okay, if we can. But talking as ShopRite, they are into partnership with Nigeria, right? So, if a lot of, Nigeria is complaining of unemployment. Now, what of our staffs as Nigerian citizens that are working there? So looking at taking um, into consideration the, the pandemic on ground, and mostly some people have lost their jobs. So, do you know how many, talking about shop rights as a whole, do you know how many Nigerians that have been employed through them? So what is the fate of the government if actually they leave? Are there necessary provisions they are making? So that is uh, things you put onto consideration because Nigerians, it seems as if um, they, are just, they are just okay with doing things the way they want to do it. But at least you put the citizens under consideration. But I don't know what that came up that that caused the menace. I'm just a layman from a layman knowledge because I was just passing and you called me. And I have to say from my own perspective. So, um, like now, I've been in shop right. I came with my boss, I've been there. I just came outside. And we Nigerians that well, at least you see young people where you can go and shop and do some things, it's normal the environment, the atmosphere and everything is cool and calm. So I don't think um, we are talking about um, industrialization because industrialization is one of the ways to encourage unemployment. And uh, industrialization has to do with um, employment. Now let's take at shop rights. You understand? Look at shop rights now. As, an, as a company or you know, as a commercial business that are duly registered and they are paying their tax and Nigerians are generating income from there. Enola Badmos TV Entertainment with our I use cash and carry, you know, I use uh, Adide. You know, I use, uh, uh, there are a lot of them, right? Uh, yeah, so I also use ShopRite too. So ShopRite living in Nigeria, I think, you know, is a business. And when you are in business, I think there are some factors that are coming in, probably government policy, tax and all that, and it's not favorable. So it's a free entrance and it's also a free exit. So ShopRite living in Nigeria, it's going, to, it's, it's, going to, we are going to, it's going to have, you know, an adverse effect in the areas of employment because they have some people they employed as their staff. And, you know, laying those people off is going to be tough for them. But notwithstanding, we are still going to, you know, continue to live our life as people so far we have alternative. I patronize shop price because anything you are looking for, you get it at a lower price, a cheaper rate, and an original one for that matter. You get an original quality, a quality product at a cheaper rate. Mm, like me, I'm more of shop rights. Uh, because they are, I like their breads and spark. Their bread and spark bread. I don't miss those two things. They are their bread, and especially their bread. I buy two things, and their things is cheap. In fact, uh, all this uh, shopping mall and shopping mall of I don't even me. I, I don't even patronize them. I prefer going to our market. Our market are there. And our market women are paying heavily in the market there. 
the poor people are there suffering with their goods. Nobody buy from them. They will go to the sun, toy on the rain. And these shoppers and all these small are just meant for, for all these big people. All these big men, they go there. The people that need our, need our services more, the patronize for, for us more. In the market, they nobody sees them. They're not really from them. How can a woman carry goods from a from uh, all this bush market to, to market to uh, all this uh, from this bush market and I go to like uh, Bandre, all this uh, Lagos market, no sales because they believe they don't sell everything. Hungry, uh, they are dying of hunger with their children, so we don't we won't miss them actually. Let them go. Chop rice, white. Ra white. White, white, yeah, 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 rice, white. Yeah? White. because it's very nice. You understand when you go there, they attend you well, attend you with. Passion and everything, you understand? I, I, I love that. I love when anytime I go there, I feel good. You understand? I feel good. I feel, you understand? Last time I carried my babe, go there now. She says she's just, you understand? Jack on the <laughs> shop, right? Why do you of course, sometimes their services is fine, at the same time, their products are also on a high quality. Then, thirdly, because their price is also on a moderate side. So well, the one at Chango Tedo, the one at Chango Tedo, shop right at Chango Tedo. Well, that's because a lot of people just go there for fun, for formality, wasting our money, thinking they're having fun and all of that. So I think that was why. Oh, uh, shop right. Um, I just like the way their things is, yeah. Is easy to shop there. Um, mostly I go to um, the one at Shungo Tedu. Yeah, that is a Novera shop right. And the one close by here at uh, Jakonde. Um, because that is the one close to me. And that is the one I, I can easily go there and get what I want. Enola Badmos TV. Entertainment. Without Thank you. I will ask them, are they making profits? If the answer is no, then they have the right to live. But if they are making profit, they won't tell you they want to live in the first place. So it's because probably there's a narrow devaluation. And, you know, as a foreign company in Nigeria, at the end of them making the NERA, they still have to convert the money to foreign currency. So if, not, if it's not making sense for them converting the money, so the option of living, I think, is a good thing for them. The advice I have for the management is they should not leave. They should just solve any crisis that is coming between them and Nigeria. They should come in agreement with the Nigerian government in anything they should do. I would advise them to leave because if they leave, it's not only chop, uh, about living. Many Nigeria game from ShopRite as a state because we might think that it's South African company, but it's not so all the South Africans that work there. Many staff there are Nigerian citizens, so Nigeria will miss them if they leave. And um, both of our sisters, brothers and sisters that work there, become jobless. But they will still <laughs> leave go where now? <laughs> uh, we advise them to go. Yeah, we have to go so that we Nigerians we can use our brains because we are talented. If there are issues they have with the government that made them to take the decision, I will advise the management um, to go ahead and reconcile with the government and continue. I believe that is a win-win thing. They have a lot of things to still benefit in Nigerian system and in Nigerian environment. So I wouldn't want them to just quit Nigeria. Rather, the management of ShopRite can go ahead and discuss with the government and the gray areas will be sorted out and they can move on with their business. I'll tell them to go so that our youth in Nigeria can work on themselves personally because our mentality on this ShopRite thing have changed. We all believe ShopRite is for snapping pictures, ShopRite is for one thing or the other that is really not meaningful. So our youth now, their minds and their head will come down, start thinking, oh, there are things beyond ShopRite. Um, I think they, they should stay. Yeah, I, I give them the advice of staying. I don't want them to leave. Definitely, I will tell them to stay. And that's it on Trending for today. Many thanks for staying here on Enyola Badmos TV. Remember to like and subscribe as we bring you more stories during the day.